Okay, I, I'm gonna set up a, an embarrassing scenario that some ladies might find all too familiar. You're playing with the kids in the yard, you go to run or jump and then you feel it. A little dribble of urine or, or you're at the gym and you're doing jumping jacks or some other kind of jumping exercise and you wonder, do I need adult diapers? It's not something you might wanna talk about, so we're going to open the conversation for you. And helping us do that is Dr. Alyssa Grace Lee with Chesapeake Urology Associates. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So um, this is something, a subject not really easy to talk about, but it is a very common issue, isn't it, among women? It is incredibly common. So common, in fact, that the most common response I get is, oh, well, that's normal for women. It is common, but not normal. One in four women over the age of 18 experiences leakage of urine. Mm -hmm. So what causes it? So there are two different types of urine. The type that you were alluding to just now is what most women think of, and that's stress urinary incontinence. So that's leakage with anything that increases our intra-abdominal pressure, laughing, coughing, sneezing, exercise, and it's due to weakness of the pelvic floor and loss of support. Mm -hmm. And um, you're a fellowship trained urogy urogynecologist. Yes, it's a mouthful. <laughs> it is a mouthful. What does that mean? So um, basically what it means is I did some extra training after my urology residency to help women deal with these embarrassing issues, leakage mm -hmm. of urine, pelvic prolapse, things like that. So we help women get dry and, and go back to enjoying their lives. So how is that done? What do you do? There are lots of options, not quite as you know basic as when our mothers were our age. Um, it can be anything as simple as exercises or pessaries, which are inserts. And when those don't work or are not a good solution, we have procedures, simple five-minute office-based procedures or surgeries that can help with the leakage. And you've obviously treated many women. Tell me about that moment when it, it's fixed, I guess you could say. It's treated and they no longer have this embarrassing problem. The most common response I get is, I wish I had done this years ago. Really? Absolutely. People are generally thrilled. They're relieved to know that it's, first of all, not dangerous, mm -hmm. but second of all, not something that they have to live with, and we have solutions. Yeah, and the solutions, you, I mean, you did mention surgery. Are they, is it really invasive, or? Not so much anymore. Um, recently, we have, I, I say recently, within the last eight years, mm -hmm. there is an office-based procedure um, that gets the majority of women dry, mm -hmm. five minutes, no downtime. You're in, you're out, you're dry, you can go back to all your normal activities. And when that doesn't work, there is a slightly more invasive outpatient procedure that takes about a half an hour. Well, I know a lot of women who'd probably say it's all worth it. <laughs> so how can, if, if somebody's interested in getting a hold of you, make an appointment, what do they do? Well, I believe our information is on your website, mm -hmm. so they can go to the Delmarva Life website. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a couple local offices here in Salisbury and in Berlin um, at Chesapeake Urology Associates. Ch Chesapeake Urology. Dr. Alyssa Grace Lee, thank you so much. Thank An important you. Important topic. <laughs>